So about a month ago, I purchased one of the Veritas planes, their new custom bevel down bench planes, because I know that in the coming year, a lot of my students are going to have these. And so I wanted to get familiar with the parts so I can uh, diagnose any uh, issues or problems that they might have on the road. Um, the number one thing that you really need to pay attention to on this plane, something pretty awesome about it actually, is what they call the blade carrier. So the blade carrier is this little guy right here uh, in between the, the two legs of the iron. And there are two screws on it. One is uh, the cap screw, which is this little one here. And you loosen and tighten that to move the blade carrier so that you can adjust the position of the cap iron or chip breaker or whatever you want to call it. And then the second screw is what they call the button head screw. And the button head screw is this little guy that locks the position of the cap iron on the back of the blade. Now what's awesome about this is that because you can lock the, uh, the blade carrier, you can preserve a chip breaker setting, really tight or really loose or whatever you like, um, with this, uh, the, this position. So after you sharpen up, you can drop your uh, cap iron on here and it will stay exactly where you had it last. You might have to move it back if you ground the um, iron, but if you were just doing some honing, uh, probably not going to have to move that uh, very much. So the only thing I really wanna talk about here is how to properly get this cap iron really close up. If you're one of those people who likes to have the cap iron within four to eight thou of the cutting edge, then I don't think the directions uh, for the plane are going to help you that much. Um, what they tell you to do is to put in the, uh, the button head screw which is what I'm doing right now, and then uh, loosen up the cap screw and adjust the position in or out of the, uh, of the cap iron. But what that tends to do is it tends to move uh, the cap iron forward um, because the cap screw, this little guy, actually rubs against the interior of uh, the slot here so it sort of creeps up on you every time you, you turn that, uh, uh, that uh, cap screw. So what I recommend you do is find the position that you like. Here, I'm gonna loosen up the cap screw. So we'll, we'll start from, now yeah, you can see it's actually moving on me right there. So it's creeping forward. So I'm gonna loosen up this cap screw. And so now I can move the whole breaker forward and uh, back. So I've got that loose. So I'm gonna find the position that I want, and this is really tight, I'm hoping for. And once I get the cap iron where I want it, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna lock, lock the button head screw first. That won't move the cap iron. That will keep the cap iron locked into that position, which is super tight. And then, I'll lock the cap screw. And because the button head screw is locked, it can't move forward. So you just have to reverse the operations that the instructions tell you to do, is lock the button head screw first, then lock the cap screw. And then uh, everything works fantastic from there. So you can put it back in. Uh, get to, and get back to work. So really nice plane, lots of cool features uh, to it. And um, uh, this blade carrier is just uh, one of the things that uh, really is uh, kind of mind blowing when you think about all the stuff you can do with it.